Hey, I hope you're doing great today. My name is Jay and in this video, I want to show you how you can edit your website using the Chrome DevTools and making sure that it saves automatically. So let's say you are on your website, you change font sizes, colors, background stuff, whatever you see as as, and then you have to copy and paste everything to your text editor because you like what you see, but it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. And a, most of the time I do a lot of mistakes when I'm just copy and pasting code and stuff like that, right? So I'm gonna show you here, I have this very um, simple website right now. It's just some toggle that I did for another tutorial. So if you wanna learn how to do this, I have another tutorial for that, but I'm gonna right click, inspect. And every time I go here, and I wanna change, I just go here and I don't know, let's see title, I change the color or I change um, the size a little bit, uh, things like that. I change, let's say this, um, which one is this one? Um, this, and then I'm good, but I need all that code. So if I refresh this page, I'm going to go back to the old code and I don't want that. I want the new code. So what we can do is save it automatically when you change stuff here. But how you can do that, right? So go to sources. Let me open this a little bit. And you have two things, right? Page and file system. Click on file system. There's a little um, arrow, uh, not an arrow, um, like a cross or a plus or whatever you want to call it, icon, and then it says add folder to workspace, right? So this is called the Chrome DevTools workspace. So I'm going to click there. Uh, make sure you are in your website root folder. As you can see, my three files are here. I'm going to click select. There is a little message here that says DevTools request full access. Click allow. And here we go. You will see your files here. So if you see that and you see those green little circles, you're good to go. So now if we go back to the elements and I change, let's go to my title here, toggle H1. Let's change this to 5EM. It's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go to my code and see if it actually changed. Let's go to the CSS. Let's find that toggle H1 and there you go, 5EM. Let's change something, maybe the color and the padding bottom. Let's go back. H1, so padding bottom, let's change it to 30, just to make sure we see some something changing. Um, let's change the color to black. What else we can change? The off and on and off to white and this little red kind of orange here. I don't like it. Can we change it? Where is this? Oh, here it is. Let's change it to black. And now it's like going to black to orange. I like that better. All right, so we did all those changes and now you're like, I need all that CSS code. Well, it's already changed. It's already saved in your um, uh, editor. So let's go. So H1 now is black. The padding bottom is 30 pixels. That's something that we did. What else we did? We changed the on and off to white. Perfect. And that we changed the little slider color to black. Here it is, slider black. So it's done. I didn't have to copy and paste. I didn't have to do anything. It's already saved in my file, okay? Now, let's say I wanna change some HTML. So I wanna change my title to something else. Something else. All right, let's go back to the code and it's not there, okay? This, this is not gonna work like that, but we have an option. If you go back to sources, right? 
Let's refresh the page first and go back to the title. So you go back to sources and here you have the files, right? You have your CSS, JavaScript, HTML. So you can go here, my title, and you can actually change it to whatever. And now you can save this file. As you can see, there's a little asterisk is because you can't save it. So I'm going to hit, um, you can put, you can hit um, control S or command S to save the file, save it. All right, let's see if that did something. Let's go back and there you go. We changed the H1 to something using the Chrome DevTools. Right now, this DevTools works just like your code editor. You can change, you can do whatever you want. You can go here, change some CSS, play with the HTML, and there you go. I'm gonna refresh the page, and now we have the text HM something. Everything works just fine. Let's do something else. Let me change this text to 1.5, a little bit bigger text to black. I know you can't read this. I know it's kind of weird. You know what? Let's change the body to white or like a the background to kind of a white. There you go. And let's change this to black. Now everything's kind of black and white. There you go. So now we did all those changes. If I refresh this page, I'm refreshing, still there. We just changed all that code in our file. Everything is changed. Look, all the dark colors. Let's go to the body. Let's get this. There you go. So we have now a new background that we added to the body. And it's replacing all these other background colors. So this is what I use when I'm kind of doing a lot of changes to my CSS when I have a page with a lot of CSS changes and I want to see it on the DevTools live and I want to make sure they save automatically. Hopefully this helps and you learn something new. Thank you.